I do not desire your death. I'm sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. <laughs> this makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but... I've seen death, cousin, and I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power, the political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this, to send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here, something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of cycles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever. have predicted when my two young students left the port of Serene that they'd become the gods of Tiafredi, thus plunging the world into chaos. Certainly not me. So it seems that I am a poor teacher. Amongst those who had tried to prevent the ritual from taking place, only a handful of dazed survivors remained helplessly facing hordes of creatures following the orders of the two cousins. Aphra and Petrus, former rivals, fell together. They couldn't accept this treason from the one they believed in. As for Vasco, he managed to run away and join the Nort fleet. Rumor has it that he went to their island, his heart full of bitterness, and never left it again. With his help, Kurt managed to leave Tiafredi, but only to die on another battlefield. Siora had done well to go back to her sister, who tried to lead a rebellion for a while, but just like the rest of the clans, she eventually acknowledged the power of their new gods. Exiled from the island, all our nations sunk into a state of constant warfare each accusing the others of being responsible for their terrible defeat. The congregation is now on the verge of falling, and I have no doubt that the others will follow. The lives which haven't been taken by war will be taken by the Malikor. On Tiafredi, the Norts report that nature has reclaimed its rights in the cities. 
After a period of chaos that saw the death of many rebel islanders, the survivors reportedly all ended up acknowledging the power of the two cousins. But sadly, this is nothing but hearsay, since the news we receive is scarce and getting even more so. Alas, the Devesp's arrival didn't bring peace to this island. Their scheming left its mark. Some of the people of New Serene still believe the lies they spread. However, the abundance of evidence against Aurelia signaled the end of the Devesp's ambitions, both on Tia Fredi and the Old Continent, where they were harshly reprimanded by the Council, who relegated them to the status of the most obscure families.